What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. All right. So before I get into this video, I want to give a big shout out to the brother Ticket TV for doing a blow by blow <laughs> assessment of this live stream carnage that we witnessed uh, with Kwame Brown, just straight Ether and Doctor Boyce Watkins. So please subscribe to Ticket's channel, Ticket TV, Ticket TV Two. I know you got ticket live streams. You got other channels too. Uh, please subscribe and support him, man. But Kwame Brown today, sick of the bullshit, man. This video not gonna be too long. I'm gonna do a Rumble video tomorrow, where I describe why I agree so much with everything that Kwame Brown had to say in his video. I just don't want to go too far into that. On YouTube, you know what I'm saying, uh, in the matter that I like to talk, but man, the 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 beat down that he put on Dr. Boyce Watkins reminded me of Ray Mercer, where he beat down Tommy Morrison, man, when he was on those ropes, man. Well, I think he landed like five or six unanswered, goddamn nuclear megaton bombs. On his goddamn face, right in the middle of his motherfucking face each time. To the point where you was wondering if Tommy Morrison was still with us or not, at the time at least. That's what I was that that's what that reminded me of, man. I mean this was this was man, this was ugly, man. This was like goddamn Costa Zoo when he goddamn Clock got down, old boy, and dude had a delayed reaction to the knockdown punch. Zab Judah, remember? <laughs> don't know, don't call me. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm still up. I'm still up. Boom, 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 boom. Like thump. Like you know how like the the like Costa Zoo's punch was the fucking speed of light, and we know how light moves fast in the sound, and then it's like his, his fucking legs ain't kept catch up with the rest of his body yet. You know, man, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, man, it was just fucked up, man. But, this is the thing, man. So, Boyce Watkins and others have been going after Deion Sanders, right? And basically questioning the man's blackness for abandoning in their, eye, in their eyes or their words in HBCU. So, shout out to Ticket TV because he mentioned something in his live stream that is very, very revealing. You have to listen to his live stream to get to understand what, what, what I'm going at with this. Listen to his live stream. He makes some really, really good points in that live stream. So check that out. And basically, he was just going in on Dr. George Watkins. Uh, well, Kwame going in on George, uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins. Just going in on him, man. Like, See, that's the thing. I've known for a while that Boyce Watkins doesn't like Kwame. And, I, and it's because I remembered something back when Kwame blew up. Remember when Kwame blew up? I mean, the internet was just fucking going crazy for Kwame. I think that was like April, May of 2021. Remember that? So, I noticed part of it was, you know, it's, it's just ingrained. And a lot of us is crabs in the barrel mentality that too many too many of us have that they were just gonna go after Kwame because there's just jealousy in general. You know what I'm saying? Um and another thing I noticed about Dr. Boyce Watkins was and this is just my opinion, I noticed that every dude that had an issue with Kwame, they they, they instantly started talking trash about him the moment they had more subscribers than he did or was on the verge of passing them. If he was within 10,000 subs the way his channel was growing, yeah, they, they all of a sudden started dissing him. They, they were dissing him because they felt like YouTube was their domain. You know what I'm saying? Like, how dare you come over here and surpass us? And Because well, he's better than y'all, that's why. Plus, I remember one live stream 
where Dr. Boyce Watkins was telling his subs a way, <clears throat> he said, you know, he said something like, uh, now look, this is just my uh, uh, interpretation of it, right, from what I remember hearing. He was saying something like, uh, yeah, you know, um, you know, I could be a nasty guy, man. You know, I could tell my subscribers to, you know, flag your account. So and one way I know that you could take uh, take videos down and end up taking channels down if you flag, you know, the channel for such and such. And <clears throat> if you go to his channel and flag it with such and such, and enough people flag it, you know, that's going to take like take his videos down, and then after a while, man, you know, it's probably going to affect his standing and. You know, and all of a sudden, you know, I was saying about a couple of, you know, it probably took his channel down. But, you know, I'm that type of guy. I'm like, well, wait a minute. Why would you even mention that then if you're not that type of guy? You know what I'm saying? Like, why did it even come to your mind to do to even mention that in your video? So, yeah, man, a lot of these dudes, they still harbor some resentment toward Kwame Brown. And they just have resentment toward <clears throat> any black man. That's getting any shine. Period. I mean, we see it time and time again, man. You know, so like I said, I don't want to go too far into it on this video. You know what I'm saying? Check out Kwame Brown's uh, channel. If you're not subscribed to it, please subscribe to it. Um, listen to his last live stream. <laughs> At least as of rec be recording this. It was his last live stream, but it's the last. It's the last stream that he did, talking about uh, Joyce Watkins and he's uh, walking. Uh, as of me recording it, this is his last live stream. But maybe by the time you listen to it, he has uploaded another live stream. So, anyway, subscribe to TV, subscribe to Kwame, listen to both their <laughs> live streams, and uh, I'm gonna do a video about this on Rumble as far as talking about why I agree with Kwame Brown and everything that he said. Anyway, tell me what you guys think.